so far we've learned about trait and we've learned about singleton what they are what if we combine both of them like trait and singleton and have a trait singleton right how would that look like so let's discuss that so let's create a trait we're using a trait keyword and we name it as singleton and we all know that we can not instantiate it directly now what we're going to do is we'll create a public static function and we'll name it as get instance and inside of this I'm going to create a static variable called instance in the previous example we had put that on the top let's put it here this time and we'll hold the instances in in an array okay and then there is a function called called get called classes I'm going to store that into the get class variable so get called classes class so get called class and then what does it do it basically does the late binding okay uh, and returns fall if calls outside of the class so it basically returns the called class and then we check if not is set instance of called class then we create an instance of the called class using a new keyword and we know that this function is going to give me the name of the class that has been called so I'll just use this function or I can just replace this with a variable which is basically equal to the same function okay so this is going to be the called class whatever the call has, uh, class has been called and then eventually all it's going to do is just return instance of the called class okay function because call class is going to return the name of the class name of the call class and then you have to use this also okay to instantiate it so basically it's very pretty simple all it's doing is uh, this function is going to uh, you know create an instance static variable just to hold all of the instances of the class classes that have been called then we're checking if the instance of the called class is present or not if it is not present then instantiate the class and hold its instance into the instance variable uh, in form of an array so that it can hold multiple instances multiple object references and then just return that instance of the class that it can be used so let's say we have a class called user and now I can use singleton like we discussed in the previous video use singleton now I can use its method called get instance and uh, let's say this fun this uh, class all it does is just echoes a string called user okay now what we're going to do is instantiate this class so let's say we have user one user get instance okay so what this is going to do is it's going to go ahead and call the get instance method it's going to check if the instance of that class doesn't already exist if it doesn't instantiate it so now if now if we just say echo and then hello you'll notice that the code is reached here so we have got the hello being printed from here and then user being printed from here let's just uh, you know comment this out so that we don't get confused so just to tell you that because we use get instance it's coming over here is checking does the instance of the class exist it doesn't in this case because it's the first instantiation of the class uh, that's why it's just echoing hello over here next time it, I can go ahead and instantiate it again and I can say user2 and this time say get instance and see what happens so ideally I'm expecting that this should only be uh, you know echoed once because the second time it won't reach uh, this condition so now if you refresh you see that hello is only being called once why because it's not 
coming inside of the condition the second time because the instance of the class already exists. Awesome. So I think this concept is clear to you now. And uh, now we can actually start using these singleton autoloaders and all of the concepts that we have you know, learned and we're going to implement that in, in WordPress. Okay, so I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And do follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran H. Sayed and my Twitter handle is Cody Tech. Okay, so I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.